Hey and welcome to a new video. I'm going to do another tutorial quickly, even though I said I wasn't going to do any more tutorials, but oh well. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a basic combat script for NPC. So what you need to pretty much do is go into your source, then go source, com, aris, game, and then NPC folder, and this is pretty much everything you have to do about NPCs. And then go into your combat folder, and then impl, whatever that means, um, and these are all the main combat scripts. I'm pretty sure you can put combat scripts other places, but this is just where I put all mine. So, what you need to do is either edit one that's already been made, or make your own. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll use one that I just made, called Tutorial. So, when you open up your combat script, you'll get your package line, which just means whatever this is. I don't really know Java. Um, yeah, so I don't really know Java, so for all you professional coders out there, this video is going to look very bad and, I don't know, but deal with it. So, um, yeah, so you'll see your package, and then these are the main imports that you need to put into your combat script for all the main things that you'll probably use. Um, this pretty much links to a file, so if you're using anything inside a .java file, then you need to link it in an import. Um, like I said, I don't know Java, so get over it. Um, but yeah, so then you scroll down, and you should see public class tutorial extends combat script. That's cool. But whatever is in between class and extends has to be the exactly like the exact has to be spelt the exact same way as the file is. So if you named this man.java, then you'd have to name it man, which is what we're going to do. So we should actually probably no, actually we'll just leave this for the tutorial. Ease of access. But make sure you spell it correctly or else you'll get an error. Alright, so you now below that you should see at override, public object, get keys, etc. And in between the two brackets you should see return new object and then two brackets and some quotes. In between these two quotes you need to put in your NPC's name. And I'm pretty sure it has to be case sensitive, so for this tutorial we'll do man, which is just M A N. Alright, then just scroll down and underneath that there you should see at override and then public int attack so this is where you edit how the NPC attacks now the basic one that I use is just a switch with the utils get random which means each time it's time for him to attack then it will just choose a random number out of the number you put in here and choose the corresponding case to whatever number that is so to elaborate that on a little bit more um, say it chooses out of three, and remember it always chooses zero as well, so it starts at zero. And so say it chooses two, it will do whatever is in case two. If it chooses one, it will do whatever is in case one. If it lands on three, it will do whatever is in case three, etc, etc. So in here you just got to put in basically each, the, each of the attacks that it will use. Um, and in this file, I've actually chucked some stuff down the bottom, which is the main sort of things that you would use in a basic NPC attack. So for this one, we are going to do this one, which is the basic NPC attack. And like I said, um, a lot of people criticize how I do this because, um, because yeah, I just don't, I just sort of copy and paste, but that's the easy way of doing it, and whatever. So for this it pretty much says NPC so in this whole attack thing everything that starts with NPC basically is what the NPC that you're making this combat script for will do and anything that says target is what the NPC attacking will do so say it's like so this one's NPC get and then in between these little stars if you read down there it says that um, the stuff in the asterisks I don't know if I spell that correctly is what you need to change so in here you need to go NPC dot get and then this is the attack style, so you need to go get melee hit, if you're going to do a melee one. Obviously it will be uh, range and then magic, if you're doing that. One thing you need to remember though, is with magic, it's magic and then mage. Range and range, melee, melee, but you've got to remember the magic thing. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, hopefully this isn't too confusing. So then you got NPC, get a melee hit. And then for the NPC, get a random max hit, which you can find in your... Um, either your bonuses I think or your combat definitions one of the two um, and then the max hit will be in between these two brackets so it's for the NPC and then the damage you put in here I'm still not 100% sure what this means but the higher the number you put in here the higher it will hit so for example we're gonna put in 100 then NPC 
get combat definitions and then in here you'll put the attack style again so melee the NPC combat definitions dot whatever has to be in fully caps so melee and if it was magic you would put mage etc etc and then it will hit the target so that's the basic attack but if you want to add an animation to that and it's not going to be the default attacking animation or I think even if you add a combat script it just ignores the default animation so what you need to do is just get the basic animation thing which is something dot set next animation new animation then the ID and paste that in there make sure you're putting everything inside the case so from this colon down to this B you want everything to be inside that and of course if you're using the stuff down here you have to put um, some sort of whatever it is you're doing if that makes sense so for this one will be NPC because we want the NPC to do an animation if you wanted the person you're attacking to do the animation then you just put target instead it would still work but for this we're going to do NPC and then emote uh, I don't actually have any emotes on me but hold up okay so we're going to use this emote which I'm not too sure it is what it, well, what it is but it's ripped from my Kiwi combat um, thing so we'll just chuck that in there and I'm pretty sure that's where he puts his hand out and then vibrates a little bit but yeah the thing with Kiwi combat stuff though was his animations were a bit long so they would extend his attacking time and it sometimes bugged him up so if that happens and if your um, emote is too long then at the start of this just put NPC or set next animation negative one at the start because it will read through your stuff downwards I think so that should work but if your animations are short enough to fit into his attacks then you should be fine um, I think that's just what I had problems with before so that's basically the default attack is an animation and then he does a hit but if you want to get more fancy then you can chuck in a graphic and like always the link is down here and insert ram and leech mead uh, meme I should say not memed uh, and then chuck in NPC new graphics and GFX ID replace the asterisks remember as I said below with a random GFX I think 5 is the rainbows but I don't know I'm just guessing so we're going to do 5 for that one and then another thing that can be handy is uh, where is it where is it where is it force talk which is one of the most used stuff or I like to use so you have to add that in to NPC I'll get next force talk and whatever is in between these two quotes is what he'll say so this is case one and then we'll just copy that <coughs> leech and then paste it and then paste it again and this is case two whoops case two and case three so that's good now if you compile with the default compiler this will not work because if you go back to your main file and then edit the compiler and like again I don't really know Java so this is going to sound real dumb but there is nothing really here that links towards where those combat scripts are so there's nothing really in like the combat script folder if that makes sense so I found like a while ago that when so things weren't compiling and I kept using this compiler I opened it up and looked at this and I noticed there was a source path and I don't know what that is so I don't really care but I noticed that there was a link to certain player f or certain .java files in my source and since my combat scripts were not compiling I made a new compiler which is just me copying and pasting the compiler like that and then dragging it in here and then I deleted all the stuff except for one like that and then in this I changed the source path to be for the combat scripts which is this one's so remember the combat scripts are at source com iris game I think it's an NBC and then we can if you don't know which I don't really remember it, you can go in this com iris game it's an NPC then in combat so we'll scroll across add combat here uh, combat and then do a forward slash and then I know it's yep impul impul and then do another forward slash and then do a star which is wildcard I think um, what's well, wildcard in PHP but yeah and I don't think that's quite right I think I've missed something so two seconds no that's pretty much good so um yeah so that pretty much means it will do it will compile every single file with a dot java extension so that's just like anything anything can be in there so it doesn't have to be like player.java etc it's anything and then save that and then if you want go back to your source folder then rename this as, oops don't compile yet but rename it as like CB script or something I think I may have already put one in here somewhere but it doesn't really matter and then double click that to compile 
So we just got an error again which says that it's expecting a semicolon, or yeah, semicolon. And if you go into your thing and follow your brackets, you notice that this one isn't dark red, which means it's irrelevant. So we just need to delete that and it should work again. So if you get that error, just. Alright, right, right. So we got another error. Whoopsie, that's the wrong thing. It was can't find the symbol for melee. And that's because I forgot that the NPC combat definitions dot whatever has to be in fully caps. So melee, make sure it's spelt correctly, and remember that's a thing to know, that everything in Java when you're referring, referring to it has to be case sensitive, and then it should work. Okay, so it's going greatly, we're getting heaps of errors, and um, one thing I forgot is that when you're doing a get melee hit, and then all this other crap, you don't need to put the NPC thingy on there. So ignore that, and chuck that in there, and then you should be fine, and we'll get this, which means it's working and it's okay. Okay. So, finally, after that's done, and hopefully you can follow that well enough without getting too distracted or annoyed, but I really can't be bothered redoing it because, like, this is a custom shop one, I had to do that three times and it was a 20 minute video, and by the end of it, the first one was the best, like, commentary wise, and the second one was crap, then the third one was even worse, which just got annoying, so yeah. Okay, so when your local client has been loaded, log in with your player account, and hopefully this will work because if not, this will be annoying, and it seems to never work whenever I do it. So ignore everything I'm wearing, this is just uh, my test client. Spawn NPC1, which is our man, and hope that it works. Uh, well, hope that he doesn't die. Yep, so this is case 2. That is obviously case 2. That was his first one, which is the emote. This is case 1, which is this one. Case 1, this one. So like I said, it's random. And then this is case 2, so he's doing this one now. Case 1, so he's doing this one. This is a good thing to do if you're debugging, to add a force talk saying this is case 1, case 2, case 3, case 0. So this is case 2. So that was GFX5 with the emote. That's GFX5 with the emote again. So that's good. He's working. And that's about it. If you need to edit his HP, go into data, XML, NPC combat definitions, and then grab this. If it's not already in there, the int is the NPC ID, and then just change the hit points. So if it's not in there, if it's not in there, I'll repeat that again, copy and paste it, change the int to match the NPC ID, one, and then change the attack animation, so that's the default animation, death animation, and all that kind of stuff, respawn delay, max hit, so you change that to like change how high he hits, um, and aggressive type, one is yes, zero is no, so that's some stuff you can do if you want to, just trying to cram it in here, to make it a little bit longer, and a little bit more worth it, um, and one other thing is data, and then in NPCs, then unpacked bonuses is exactly the same as any other bonuses. Um, you'll find the guide up here, so it's stab attack is that one, slash attack is that one, so just make another one, or make a new one, like this. Uh, trying to rush this a little bit. So copy it, make it man. Remember there can't be any extra spaces, and then change this to the NPC ID, so man is one, and then change it to a stab attack, a slash attack, a crush attack. Oh wait, no, stab attack, slash attack, I don't know, just follow the guide and it will make sense. So, hopefully that helped you and hopefully it's not too long. And yeah, oops, yeah.